Hi everyone, I'm Nihal Advani, founder and CEO of Jirama. Jirama is a live mobile video platform. And what we do is we help people who physically can't travel somewhere go there virtually in real time via live mobile video tours. The way it works is on one end, imagine a smartphone, wearable camera, or 360 camera. Using our technology, broadcasters can broadcast their perspective in HD quality all live in low latency to viewers across any device, whether that be a smartphone, tablet, computer, or VR headset. And those viewers can not just watch something live, they can actually interact in real time to have a very authentic and personalized experience. What we do that's unique is that we have a proprietary ability to combine multiple cellular and or Wi-Fi networks to have a very strong, stable stream. We're basically aggregating bandwidth so that even when you're in poor network conditions, we can have a strong, reliable stream and keep it with HD quality and with low latency. Um, and we have specialized software for the verticals we serve. Education is our primary market. Um, so you can think of us as an enterprise version of a Periscope or Facebook Live. We actually predate them, and our technology is built for enterprise. It's three times the quality, four times the reliability, uh, and more importantly, it's tailored to education in that there's surveys, there's polls, there's assessments, all built in depending on the couple use cases uh, that we have within education that I'll go through. We also have you know, things like keyword filters, the ability to embed things on our client websites. So it's sort of on a university or school's website uh, or partner's website powered by Jirama. Everything that's live is also regarded and organized, uh, and there's a whole bunch of data analytics, I should have mentioned. So there's three different uh, pillars within education for us. There's recruiting, there's curriculum enhancement, and then there's career pathways or placement. Um, We'll go into each one of these where for recruiting, we're used by several different universities for campus tours. So think of out of state or international students. I was one of those back in the day who didn't have enough money or for example, a visa to be able to go and see uh, their prospective campuses. Uh, and you've got pre-recorded panoramas that are highly produced or pre-recorded videos and photos. But if you really wanna see what it's like today authentically and be able to ask the questions that you have personalized to yourself, our technology lets you do that. And so universities are using us to broadcast these tours, department-based, neighborhood-based, dorm-based, whatever it may be, to students, uh, prospective students and parents around the world. We're also used for curriculum enhancement where think of whether it's art history or culture, being able to get immersed. Uh, in the past, there's been virtual field trips around you know, uh, going to a museum, but it's a video conference to a video conference kind of setup. And that's very static, requires a lot of hardware. Ours is no hardware required. You can watch just with the browser. Uh, and uh, of course, it's completely mobile. And that's the big advantage because it's mobile and reliable. So you can go indoors, outdoors, anywhere. Uh, for example, in STEM education, being able to be in a construction site or a manufacturing facility at an assembly line, uh, really have a plethora of experiences that you can bring into the classroom when a physical field trip is not possible. Also, things like language version, we use for Spanish language, for example. Uh, marketplaces in Barcelona, I imagine being able to talk to a vendor, and depending on the level of complexity, even negotiate with the vendor and see how that's done in a natural environment. Uh, and lastly, vocation and skills training. So being able to actually have specific skills training around certain things, again, that's all live and personalized to that profession. And then finally, career placement is workplace tours. So what's it like to work you know, at Google? What's a day in the life of a Googler? Um, and those are the kinds of opportunities we can bring to both high schools and uh, universities. The way uh, clients work with us is one of two ways. Uh, one is a technology license where we provide them uh, the hardware, the software, keep in mind the hardware for broadcasting is as simple as a smartphone. In many cases, we make it easy. We even just provide them a smartphone along with it, along with a small handheld stabilizer that makes it very smooth as they walk so it's not shaky as someone's walking around. And we provide an admin panel, a dashboard with all the data and everything else, unlimited broadcast, unlimited storage, sort of, sort of all you can eat package is our tech license. And then we have a virtual field trips platform where it's all bookable. So we actually have a network of, if you may call it Uber broadcasters that you can call at on any time. They're equipped with our technology and they can go out and bring something live into a classroom uh, whenever you need it. Uh, we've got partners like the Open University, which is one of the world's largest online university with 250,000 students. Uh, NASA is also now using our technology. We're really proud of that. Uh, and uh, a lot of their virtual, in fact, all their virtual field trips out of Langley now are all done from, uh, from our technology. We've got some museums and other partnerships with uh, organizations like DXTLA, the Texas Distance Learning Association. And we've got several universities using us for campus tours like Baylor and Bishops and so on. Um, I actually, since I have a minute, I'm gonna ask you, Scott, to play the video if you can. So you'll get a quick sense of what it's like. The cathedral's 
going to be finished in 2027. They so this is like an architectural tour in Barcelona. All done live so people can interact, ask questions. Okay, well right here you got forward response. and reverse. And to turn it, you kind of go to the left or you go to the right. This was the state of Michigan taking um, high schoolers you got to a construction right site, here. showing them what it was like to, you dial up to be there and work faster, professional you dial it construction. It flows up. I am at this place called so the Delhi Hut. It's a market this which is more for cultural experience in India, in the marketplace. From all over India uh, there was brought to over 600 students place. around the US. I'm glad you guys like that. I enjoyed that myself. Yeah, what is it you think that you have that makes you succeed in your this field? This is another vocational example. Um, in, uh, I think hospital. communication is key because in our field, it's all patient-based. Oh, that's us. Thank you very much.